All right, hey, 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 legends, Fraser Brooks here, coming to you live today from Dubai with another episode of the Tuesday Night Lives, 8 p.m. UK time every single Tuesday, or as best we can do, depending on my travel schedule and uh, extremely busy life. But if you are tuning in on the replay, do me a massive favor, let me know. Uh, what time it is where you are. Let me know like the 24 hour clock. So like eight, uh, sorry, 2001. I would love to kind of get an idea of what time it is that you're watching this. What time of day? Is it in the evening? Is it lunchtime? Is it in the morning? Is it late at night? Whatever it might be. I'm a night owl, by the way. I don't know how many of you guys are, but I like stay up super late and then wake up a little bit later. I'm not the guy, the guys who say like, hey, wake up at 5 a.m., wake up at 6 a.m. That's not me yet. I've tried it a few times, didn't really work out. But hey, hey, for those of you who are on Instagram, as well. Good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. And if you're on Facebook, I appreciate you guys too. So here's the thing. I'm going live on, a, on, on Facebook and Instagram, 8 p.m. UK time every single Tuesday uh, for the foreseeable future as long as I see the engagement is there and that you guys are getting value. If you guys get value, it's worth my time. If you guys don't get value, it's not worth my time because my goal here is to help bring the industry together, bring people from different companies different uh, different countries together so that we can all grow together because divided we fall, together we conquer, right? When we're all fighting each other and we're all like, I'm better than you, your company, my company's better than your company, you should join my company because your company's rubbish, blah, 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 blah. When we do that, we fall, we lose, we never, ever win. So today, if you're with me, let me know, smash the love hearts. One of the biggest indicators for me is if you smash the love heart, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's on Facebook, I'm able to see all the love hearts uh, add up. It is a little bit different on my end now, but anyway, let's get into this. So today I want to talk about... AI for social media. Now, I do have to tell you that on Thursday, and that Thursday the 25th of May uh, at uh, 7 p.m. UK time, so literally in two days from now, we are going to be doing what I know to now be the biggest AI workshop in the network marketing space. Kind of crazy that. It is also what I believe to be the first one of significance. So uh, of course it'll be the biggest. The first one and the biggest one, but we are going to set the standard. We are going to go for four hours and we're going to go deep on all things AI. I'm going to be giving you, I believe there's 11 or 12 tools that you need to be aware of. So in today, I want to kind of give you a crash, 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 crash course. I want to give you the basics of how I come across AI, what I originally did and what I was doing. So anyway, I heard about AI a long, long time ago. In fact, Svetlana went to university to study data science. And a part of that, she came across something called machine learning. You can Google it, machine learning. But uh, it's a very, very kind of uh, important thing that we need to be aware of and that we need to know of. But what she was doing as the case studies is she was working with supermarkets. And the supermarkets were saying, hey, we need to improve our production. We need to improve our bottom line. We need to improve our profit. So we need to let... We, we need you to let us know where are the best places in the supermarket for us to stock different things. Also, what are the best, what are the busiest times so we can hire more staff for that time and fire more staff for that time? So she would have to get all the data of people who were walking in and walking out, how much they were spending, what they were buying, how far that they would walk around the supermarket. And she would use artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science to establish what she had to do. And that was my first experience. This is years and years and years ago. I'd obviously heard of AI in the movies, iRobot, where you feel like the robot's going to take over the world. And I just want to let you know that AI is not a threat. Some of you guys are like, oh God, we, we've got to stop AI. AI is going to take over the world. AI and robotics might take over the world when there's this human-like person who's stronger, faster, smarter, quicker than all of us. But have any of you guys, let me know in the chat, have any of you guys got like a robotic hoover? You know, there's like kind of, I haven't got one, but like those circular things that kind of just go around the house and they kind of hoover up and then they hit against the wall and they go along a carpet and they turn. Guys, that's AI with robotics, just so you guys know. All right, um, you guys in Facebook still there? <laughs> I know Instagram, the chat's always like fire, 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 but Instagram, I feel like people are like that. Hmm, hmm, right? So if you have one of those, then you have 
artificial intelligence with robotics. So what is AI? AI is also known as artificial intelligence or artificial intelligence is known as AI. Here's the best way for me to kind of explain to you what is AI is by giving you some examples that you probably use, right? That you probably use or that you probably are aware of, okay? So if you've ever watched, like, and let me know if you've ever done any of these things. If you've ever bought anything on Amazon, right? Let me know in the chat. If you've ever bought anything on Amazon, don't have a Roomba. That's what it's called, a Roomba, the artificial intelligence robot, right? If you ever bought anything on Amazon and then it pops up when you're about to, when you're about to check out saying like, we recommend this product, that's artificial intelligence. Have you ever watched anything on Netflix or Apple TV or Disney Plus or any of these streaming serv services? And then it pops up saying, hey, if you like this, you should watch this next. That's artificial intelligence. If you've ever watched anything on YouTube and there are suggested videos in the right-hand side or at the end of the video, it says, hey, you should watch this next. Also, artificial intelligence. Any of you guys got an iPhone or an Android? And when it's locked, in order to unlock it, you have to use facial recognition. That is artificial intelligence, also known as AI. How many of you guys, when you start texting, how many of you guys, when you start texting, you spell something wrong, but then it automatically corrects it? Right? You might you guys might drop the F bomb and it turns it to from hmm to duck. And you're like, no, I didn't want to say duck. I wanted to say something else. Not that I have massive experience in that, but some of you guys will understand what I mean there. Right? That is also artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is making our experience faster and more pleasurable. Right? When you look at these examples, you think, hang on a minute. Unlocking my phone by looking at it makes it faster. Being recommended what to watch next makes it faster like changing my spelling mistakes make me look smarter. So if you look at it from that perspective, you've got to think, wow, uh, actually this is like super useful and I should probably take pay attention to this. By the way, guys, if you do get value throughout this, I know it's maybe a little bit of a different life, but I have, feel like I have to educate you um, so that you kind of understand the power and you really understand how you can use AI on social media. I'm going to go into that in a minute before the workshop on Thursday. But if you do get value, please do me a massive favor, hit the share button and make sure you do invite your friends and family. I would massively appreciate it. I always love seeing these numbers grow. And remember, keep smashing that love heart. Keep showing me that you care about this information by letting me know in the comments as well. So again, it's important because it's going to help us get more productive. It's going to help us get smarter, smoother, faster, quicker, also less stressed. So here, here's kind of my experience. In 2019, I was consulting for an AI company. And when it came, I was like, AI, man, this is too smart for me. Like, I, I think it's too complicated. And usually that's what happens. When something is kind of too smart, you kind of think it's then too complicated. And you're like, why can't it just be so simple? So in 2019, I was, I was working with this company and I was telling them like, hey, you should like do this for network marketing. And, and they had this great software. I don't need to go into detail, but it was before its time. And after that kind of COVID hit, I didn't really hear much about them. And then all of a sudden, a few months ago, Chat GPT launched. Now, let me know in the chat, have you heard of and used Chat GPT for your network marketing business yet? Yes or no? Let me know in the chat. Have you used Chat GPT in the chat, uh, sorry, in your net, for your network marketing business? Yes or no? First, have you heard about it? Second of all, have you actually used it? Because a lot of people have heard about it, but they've maybe not used it because it's something new. Now, for myself, I'll tell you this. I'm the kind of person, I'm open and I trust a lot of things. However, when something new comes along, I'm like, ah, like, I kind of use Facebook, I use Instagram, I use TikTok, I use YouTube, I have a podcast, I have a Telegram channel, I have an email list, I have websites, I have funnels, I have communities, I have a coaching program. We have all these different things. Like, surely, not something else. Like, I just, I just can't add something else to my plate. So I was resistant against it. When people were like, oh, I'm using chat GPT a few months ago, I was like, all right, yeah, nice. Well, you keep doing that. I'm just going to keep being consistent. If you're consistently using chat GPT and you're not executing on your business, I will most likely be further ahead than you because I'm just consistently doing the work. And a few months ago, about three months ago, I got obsessed with it. Now, I'm not talking like a healthy obsession, like an unhealthy obsession. Like I was awake until three, four o'clock in the morning, staring at my screen whilst lying in bed, Svetlana's fast asleep next to me. Me and the baby is kind of 
half asleep, half not, then pooping, then farting, then asleep, then crying, then feeding, then pooping. So I'm on ChatGPT and I'm writing all sorts. I'm writing all sorts, how, like ChatGPT, how should I get my baby to go to sleep more? And then like, da, 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 da. what if those things don't work? Bum, 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 bum. For those of you who use Google, let me know if you use Google a lot. If you feel like you use Google at least three times a week, ChatGPT is most likely going to be your greatest and bestest friend, right? Because a lot of the times we go onto Google for look, to look for answers, and this is what happens, right? Test it. Next time you go on Google and you're looking for an answer, count how many clicks you do, right? This is going to shock you. I, did, I, did, I literally came up with this idea about two weeks ago, and I was thinking to myself, oh man, like this is a game changer. So, I go onto Google every day. People are saying every day, yeah, I use it. Of course, right? Google's huge. But Google is actually losing market share to chat, GP, chat, chat GPT, right? So you go onto Google and you say something along the lines of, how far is it to, how far is it to the moon? Let's go one further. How long would it take me to drive to the moon and back? Right? And it might come up with an answer. That's so you've clicked once, right? You've clicked on the search bar and you've clicked. The, you've clicked the go or the enter, right? So you've done twice. The answer then may be pop up, but in most situations, you have to scroll down. And you know where it says like recommended questions? You might have to scroll down a few and then you click on one. It might take you three, four, five clicks to actually find the answer. Now, ChatGPT, you go on there, you type in, how long would it take me to drive to the moon and back? I press enter. It might come back and say, how fast are you driving? But it knows that the majority of people don't ask that question because we're not smart enough. That it depends on how fast you're driving, right? Because we're just not. We, over, we, over, we overview things. We don't, we don't look into that much detail. So it might then say, oh, how fast are you driving? Or it will just automatically come up with a response. If you are driving like you are on the freeway, doing 70 highway, motorway, 70 miles an hour, it will take you bum, bum, bum. Thank you very much. Done. Done. Another example of AI, by the way, is Alexa. Alexa, play Justin Bieber. Boom, does it. AI is making us be able to do things in one or two steps. No longer three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps. Right? Think about what you used to do back in the day. If you wanted to, if you wanted to get the answer to something, you would step one, leave your house. Step two, get on your bike or your car. Step three, go to the library. Step four, check in at the library. Step five, find a resource that can help you. Step, step six, look into the resource to find the answer. Step seven, leave the library. Step eight, get back in your car or, or bike. Step nine, drive back home or ride back home. Step 10, enter the home. Oh, I've got the answer. It's taking you half a flipping day. Now it's literally one or two clicks away with the benefit of ChatGPT. So here's how you can use it. I'm not going to go into a demonstration right now. I'm going to do that on Thursday. We've got four a four-hour workshop. So if you're on Instagram and you want more information, you can comment AI down below and I'll send you the link. You've got two days left to be able to get access to this and then it's gone forever. Uh, if you're on Facebook, you can go to fraserbrooks.com forward slash AI. We have over 1,600 people. 1,600 people are officially registered for this workshop, which is amazing. If you've already got your ticket, please do me a massive favor and let me know in the chat down below, the chat, the comments, not the chat GPT, they're just the chat, the comments, right? Amazing, great. So here we go. So the first one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about 11 or 12 different tools on Thursday, but the first one that we spend a little bit of time on, not, not the whole four hours, maybe like 40 minutes on is ChatGPT itself. So if you go and just Google ChatGPT, uh, it will come up and it'll most likely take you to open.ai, uh, open right? Or uh, you know, it'll come up with a link, you can click on that. You can create a free account and it's a little bit slower, but still good, or you can create a paid account, which is $20 a month. When you go down the ChatGPT rabbit hole, you will want to upgrade because what's happening is absolutely ridiculous. I wrote my notes for this workshop four or five weeks ago, literally just after Dead Dream. So four, yeah, like just under four weeks ago. And the notes that I wrote four weeks ago, I have completely binned. I've put it in the rubbish. I put it in the trash and I've written a whole set of new notes because it's moving that fast. ChatGPT has gathered the, it's gathered 100 million customers faster than any platform by a mile. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if you combined TikTok and Instagram and it was faster than both of them combined, right? In terms of speed, like if you cut it down. All right, anyway. So here we go. 
ChatGPT, you can ask it content ideas, you can tell it to write you Facebook posts, Instagram posts. I'm stuck on what to talk about on my Instagram live. Give me an idea. Uh, I, need to, I need to reply to a comment from someone saying this. Imagine this. Someone says to you, um, that network marketing thing's a pyramid thing. You could say, hey, someone said that my network marketing business is a pyramid thing. What is, a, what is the best answer in a funny tone? And it will give you, it will give you like an answer. But you know what? Honestly, my obsession over the last three months, ChatGPT isn't even the best tool. And I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Like I, I've found tools that have completely changed mine and Svetlana's. Like wh- I probably was spending about eight hours a day. I mean, I'll probably tell, I'll probably show you on Thursday. I was spending eight hours a day on my phone up until four, three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago in particular. I, I'm now spending four hours on my phone and I'm getting more done. So again, it's going to give you loads of different things. I mean, it's all about the prompt. So whatever you put into ChatGPT is what you're going to get back. If you give it good prompts, it will give you good responses. If you give it bad prompts, it will give you bad responses. So here's the second one. Oh man, this one, blah, they all blow my mind to be honest. I'm actually considering to create a, a network marketing AI company, by the way. Like I'm, I'm in genuinely believe it's going to change our profession. I, I, to be honest with you, every tool that comes out, I genuinely believe is going to change our profession. Facebook changed it. Instagram changed it. TikTok changed it. YouTube changed it. All of these tools that we have available changed our profession in such a big way. AI is the next one. So just don't get left behind. Right? You're right, Colleen. You have to ask good questions. Fortunately for you, I'm going to give you a shed load of questions. All right. So here we go. The second one, video editors. Right? Now, for those of you who edit videos or create videos and want to get better at video, you have to kind of get good at doing, doing editing videos. So the first option was you had to use something like, uh, like Premiere Cut Pro or something to do with Adobe or Movie Cut Pro or iMovie on Mac. And what you would do is you would record a video and then you would have to kind of like trim it and then post it and then find another bit and trim it and then post it and then trim it. And it would take you all day to, to, to kind of edit a video. In fact, I pay video editors for some of my YouTube videos and it takes them hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to produce a decent quality video. And I love them for that. However, there are video editors right now and I'm gonna show you one. Uh, there's a lot, but I'm gonna show you one of them on Thursday. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely wild what I'm about to tell you. You can record a video and it will um, automatically um, remove all the erms from the video. There we go. All the erms are gone, right? All those silent moments are gone. All the bloopers are gone. It will transcribe the actual footage and say, hey, you said, hey, 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 legends, Fraser Brooks here, coming to you live from Dubai. In today's video, I want to talk to you about blah, 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 blah. And you can literally select the text that you said, delete it, and then it deletes it from the video. So today, I uh, challenged a video editing friend of mine uh, from university. I didn't do video editing in university. I just know him from, video, uh, from university. I challenged him. I said, hey, man, uh, I've got this raw footage. It's 13 minutes and 41 seconds. Uh, I want to race you to see if AI is going to put you out of a job or not. Right? And it, it was fun. Right? I said, like, I, I believe that humans, you, you're still going to be relevant. Uh, but... Like, let this scare you a little bit into being open to different opportunities, also known as network marketing, because he was a bit of a hater before, right? So we did this. I gave him the video. I said, like, let's go, right? And I put it into this AI tool, and I edited all the bits where it was silent, and it was just rubbish. It took me four minutes. It took him two and a half hours Uh, No kidding. Now, his version was cooler because it had like captions. So guess what I did? I spent a few hours looking through my notes and found some caption apps, which then it took me an additional seven minutes. And in 11 minutes total, I had this edited video with all the captions, with all the closed captions, with everything. And he couldn't believe it. Uh, So I wouldn't be surprised if he does something about that in the next few months. So here's, here's what I will say. AI won't replace jobs, but it will replace the people who have them. Because AI isn't going to just replace, it's not going to replace surgery, right? There's no such thing as surgery anymore because we've got AI, so surgery isn't a thing. But it will at some point, it already is starting to replace the surgeons. Now, 
There might be complicated surgeries that it's not going to be able to. But guys, it's already happening, man. It's already happening. There used to be an amazing... Does anyone remember Charlie's Chocolate Factory? Willy Wonka, sorry. Willy Wonka and... Yeah. Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. That's what it was. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But there was the newer one, right? There was a scene where Charlie's kind of dad lost his job. And he was like, oh, I'm just kind of going on a break. And Charlie was like, oh, okay, cool. But the reality was that he hadn't lost his... He hadn't just gone on a break. He'd lost his job because he was like filling things in the toothpaste or something. He was like putting the toothpaste into the tubes and a robot comes along, puts the robot thing into the toothpaste tube and just puts the toothpaste in and it was doing 10 every time he was doing one. It's been a vision, Charlie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. There we go. Thank you. My hysterectomy was done via ro with a robot 10 years ago. Guys, this has been going and around for absolutely ages, but now we're just starting to get onto it, right? Now, the last one I want to talk to you about, this has been a lifesaver in a mental health situation. Now, I'm not going to say that I have mental health issues. And, I, and for those of you who, who are honest enough to go and get help and stuff, I have so much respect for you. Um, I deal with overwhelm a lot. And I don't know if you guys let me know in the chat. And I know overwhelm is a choice, right? I choose to be overwhelmed because I have a lot to do. Um, I have a lot to do. My brain is constantly thinking, how can I help people? How can I help people? How can I help people? I have something called Messiah Complex. Some of you guys might have it too, where everyone you come in contact with, you feel bad. And like you feel bad if they don't go and get success. Like you just want everyone you come in con contest. You want everyone to come in contact to win, right? Karen says, I'm a mental health advocate. I love that. I love that. I love that. Yeah, Elizabeth, uh, ADHD. I know it, right? It's, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy. Some of us thrive on it, right? It does. It kind of, yeah, I agree. Sometimes it does, right? It does kind of help you to, to thrive. So I'm the kind of guy, you guys let me know if you're like me, that if you're doing something on the computer or your phone, but let's talk about the computer for now, and you go to a website or you, you're doing something or you see something and you're like, oh, what was I just doing? I can't. And you completely forget whether it's during the day, during the week. You're kind of so busy that you're doing loads of different things. You're kind of halfway through something and maybe you have like a power cut or your battery goes down or you click off all the tabs or like you've got a thousand tabs open and you just can't believe it. It happens all, <laughs> happens all the time to me. Roland says all the time. Elizabeth's like, yep, yeah, that's me, right? Corinne Smith says, yes. Bailey says, me, every day. Happens all the time. Now, if it hasn't happened to you yet, you're not busy enough, right? But it'll happen a lot. Like, a lot of people are saying, yeah, me, I know what you're talking about. There is an AI software, and I'll give you the name of it. There is an AI software called rewind.ai. You're welcome. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, I'm going to say a little bit more than that. There's, a, there's an AI software called rewind.ai, which will actually keep track of all the things that you were doing based on search activity. So be careful. Based on search activity, based on activity, based on messages you were sending, based on notes you were taking. And it will basically just be able to tell you .ai, right? Rewind.ai. Um, it will basically then tell you, whoa, 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 you were doing this. Like, and you just go, boom, click there, and it takes you there. Guys, I, I am telling you, my God, how AI is going to help you not just build your business on social media, but help you cut out the, the stuff that you're spending, become way more productive, and guess what? It's going to get 1,000 times faster and more beneficial. I'm currently using one right now because it helps my it helps me for what I do and it'll help you guys where the the AI learns my voice, right? It learns my voice. So I can type in hey legends, hope you're doing great and then the AI will say hey legends, hope you're doing great and the more content I give it, the better it's going to get. However, the next step is I can go English, French, and it will go, bonjour, legenda, blah, 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 blah. Comment to tapel. Right? I, I don't, I don't, I don't know French. Um, guys, I, I'm, t AI is made for network marketing. Like, it really is. There are companies that are bringing out AI products, which is super exciting, super cool. But I will tell you this. There are a lot of tools and a lot of marketers 
who will use the AI trend to just make a sale, right? <laughs> Sherry Lee says, are you really live right now or is this AI? I know, right? Um, but there are a lot of tools out there that aren't artificial intelligence. They're just smart, right? But I will tell you that there are a hand, I would say this, right? I've got a list of about 30 that are genuinely amazing. And I've got a, a probably about 20, 25 of them are super epic for network marketing. And I'm gonna share with you 12 of them, 12 of the best, like some of the best ones There are a few that I'm kinda gotta just do a little bit more testing with and just to make sure that there definitely is a benefit for the network marketers. But I have spent the last three months, probably four, five, six hours a day, almost four, five, six hours a day, just obsessing over this. And I just wanna bring you the best of the best on Thursday. So if you haven't got your ticket, Comment AI down below or go to fraserbrooks.com forward. If you're on Facebook, go to the link because the commenting won't work. Uh, but if you're on Instagram, you can comment. Go to, uh, go to fraserbrooks.com forward slash AI. Get your ticket. Uh, you will get the recordings of it as well. Uh, and I'm super, super excited because we're going to actually do some... Um, uh, when we do these workshops, we don't use Facebook. And we don't use Zoom. We use our own virtual online platform, which allows us to actually implement almost straight away. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to... I'm going to give you some assignments to do together in little groups, like from people from different companies, different countries and all that. Um, but how you can actually... This is one of the things we're going to talk about. How you can start selling more on social media literally from Thursday night onwards by doing one simple thing on one of these AI tools. Everyone should do it, but not everyone has the, the creativity or the marketing know-how to do it, and therefore, a very small percentage of people actually do it. So if you haven't already done so, get your ticket. If you have got value from this, do me a massive, massive favor. Uh, let, like, share this with other people. Uh, I will save these lives on Instagram, on Facebook. So feel free to tag your friends in this. Share it on your feed. Share it to your group. Share it in your messenger. And uh, I just want to say again, as always, I massively, massively, massively appreciate each and every single one of you. Uh, for those of you who have been here, stuck around for the whole time, I'm super excited about that. And uh, yeah, big love to you all. All right, kisses. Ciao. Bye-bye. Fire up, man.